So I just landed here in Perth in WA, Western Australia. I'm here with my friend Frosty, who's hosting me this week, here for Race Wars, and what, what are we about to check out? Mate, this is probably one of the best collections you'll see in Australia um, of, of Fords, GTs, you name it, he's got it. So it's a private location, um, outskirts of Perth, but uh, yeah, I think you'll like it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Looks like we made it to the right place. Paul? We got Kyle. Oh yeah. Nice to meet you. So you got quite the collection here, I uh, yeah, from what I hear from Frosty. Here. Yeah, yeah. This is a uh, 32 Ford that uh, my dad actually sold it when we started our business uh, when I was six years old. I'm 50 now. We got it back a couple of years ago and rebuilt the whole car again. Oh, you got it back? Yeah. Uh, it was pretty good. head. And it's a stick shift? Yeah, yeah. Yep, still uh, <laughs> triple carbon manual. <laughs> You're going to notice everything here is right-hand drive. We are in Australia. we got a bunch of classics in here, huh? What year is this? Uh, they were actually built in 39, but weren't assembled to 49 because of the um, war. Oh, so yeah. This is my daughter's favorite. Yeah. And really cool car. They, um, they were so well ahead. Like, for 1956, they were well ahead of their time. A lot of cars that we did get back home and a lot of cars that we didn't, too. I don't think we ever got this body style Falcon. No. America had the Galaxy, we had the Fairlane, and there was kind of like a crossover point where you, we both got a bit of each. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's the oldest car that you have here? Uh, the 1913 Speedster over here. That over 100 years old. Supposed to be like a race car. Um, you see that By 1913 front. standards. <laughs> <laughs> See the point? That's all of it. Yeah. <laughs> if you heard of Bonnie and Clyde? Oh yeah. That was a letter, a copy of the letter that they wrote in 1934 to Ford um, explaining how dandy the V8 is when you could get away with one. What? <laughs> Are you serious? So you got four different portions to the tour, is that right? Yeah. We're on yep. the second. So your dad started this collection how long ago? Uh, it was probably about 30, 35 years ago. Okay. Frosty was telling me about the purple car here. What's the story behind it? This sat in a, in a shed for years and years and years, and uh, they hid it away because somebody tried to steal it. And then the guy passed away, um, and we heard about the car. I had to buy it without seeing it. Um, I said to him, get a price off whoever you like, tell me what the price is. When she came up with that, I offered her 10 grand more, and she took it. Um, that was nice. When I first pulled it out of the shed, I don't know if I did the right thing or not. <laughs> it was pretty, it was under about an inch of dirt. And what made, model is this? It's an XY GT. Um, wild Violet manual with black trim is probably one of the rarest sort of setups that you could have with a roof, uh, you know, with a wine back sunroof. Um, so it's a fairly rare car. That's why you had to have it. And now there's just, you know, Dad and I are always arguing, should it be restored or shouldn't it? But, um, mm -hmm. Hell no. People like the look of, you know, we like people say we do have a lot of shiny ones. We probably don't need them all to be shiny. <laughs> so being being priceless like the or being rare like this, how much do you think that it's worth? Um, well, we were offered 150 grand for it, which is a few times more than what we paid for it. Wow. Um, you know, whether it's worth that, I suppose every, everything's only worth what somebody's prepared to pay for oh, it. For sure. But um, yeah, would I pay 150 <laughs> for it? No. <laughs> yeah. But I don't have to. <laughs> Oh, tell me about the Cobra back here. I love the paint scheme on it. Yeah, they made 300 of them. Um, the first 30 were made for race cars, which are really big dollar cars now. Um, but these things have been fetching in good condition like that. You know, still a couple of hundred grand, which true Ford guys that I know don't really rate Cobras that highly, and I'm one of them. I always find that people that like GM and Ford like them. That'd be me. And that's, yeah. <laughs> all the time. I've got plenty of mates that like both and they yeah. always like that car and I sit there going, <laughs> I'm a Chevy guy myself. Yeah. No offense. Yeah. <laughs> I see you got a few bears here. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think that anybody would take the time to save any. So these are a couple of low kilometer cars. That are, you know, really they turn Ford around. Um, such an awesome engine. It is. They're just a worldwide engine that everybody wants now. You know, they make so it's, much power for the size of them. It's the Australian 2JZ. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. And what about this panel van? This car we Very used to sponsor back in 1976. It was one of the fastest street cars in WA. Um, 
Holly Douglas used to race it. There's some pictures of it there. Pretty sure it ran about a 12.6, which in those days was... As a street car. Yeah, yeah, he used to, it was his only car. In the 70s. He was a young guy, he used to drive it down there, um, you know, race it, then drive it home and change the wheels and you know, drive it to work the next mm -hmm. The EC Cobra replica, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, they, um, it was a local West Australian guy that hand built the body. Um, done a beautiful job. Hand built? Yeah. Really? See all the stitching? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's made, impressive. Yeah, he made the whole thing and did a beautiful job. A lot cheaper than importing one. And it was licensed with a big block in it, which you can't do that anymore either. Um, I don't feel particularly safe with a big block car that's made out of coke can. Because <laughs> you, know, you honestly get that feeling when you drive it up the road, you know? Yeah. You just, I drive some fast cars, but they're generally safe cars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so do you offer tours to the public too, or is it just like uh, your friends? Well, we've and... got a website like fordfarm.com.au, which yeah. you can go on there and say how many people you want to bring and you'll find a date, you know, what date we're open. It's usually like a Sunday, the third Sunday of each month. Okay. Around lunchtime for a few hours, you know. How much is it to get in? Uh, we hit people up 20 bucks a head, but 100% of it goes to the Perth Children's Hospital. Really? Yeah. That's a great idea. How much have you raised so far? Uh, nearly 180,000, so. What? Yeah, so we get a few up here. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> you got your own diner. Yeah, there was a diner in Midland that closed down that was there for years. You know, a lot of people, including my family, used to go. So yeah, we got hold of the people that were closing it down and bought all the stuff off it and <laughs> rebuilt it. it all and just yeah, set it all up and just sort of looked pretty cool. Nice entry to the car shed. You just need a grill now. <laughs> Here's the third. Oh wow. What what do you got going on here? So this is every model GT that we had here in Australia. We have one of each one in this garage. Yeah. Yeah, so it was just XR, XT, XW, XY. Okay. Uh, I've seen a lot of XYs around, especially at Power Cruise last weekend. Yeah, they... I love them. I think for every genuine one, there's 50 <laughs> replicas yeah. on the road, which is okay. Like, um, you don't have to care as much about a replica. Okay. But in saying that, I've had that car since I was 16. <laughs> I've run off the road more times in that car than I'd hate to, you know, like to remember. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still here. Oh, jeez. This was your, was it your first car? Uh, no, I've had cars since I was about 11 years old. Oh you know, gosh. I used to live in a property where we used to have bush bashes all the time and stuff. Oh, perfect. The last car to make the full collection was this car. Um, Cause the XA coupes are so hard to get. Being red pepper, sunroof, manual, black trim. It's really as good as an XA coupe ever got. <laughs> and, um, it was one of the dearest cars we bought, but when I, said to the guy, can you send me some pictures of the restoration? He sent me 500 pictures. Oh yeah, you, <laughs> like, you found the right car. He re-wrapped the wiring harnesses and was, had pictures of that. And you know, like, No way. It's, uh, it's quite an awesome car. Yeah, it is. This one I brought years ago. It makes 420 horsepower at the tires, this car. It's just a great, fun car to drive. <laughs> but, um, you know, for us, it's not so much about every single thing being perfectly original or whatever. You have to be able to get in it, enjoy it, beat it up a little, and have some fun, you know? Exactly. 93, this is like a smushed Thunderbird. Yeah, they, um... Taurus and Thunderbird combined. <laughs> Ford stopped V8s for a while. So when they brought the V8s back in, they thought they'd make a GT. Yep. We brought that brand new. It was embarrassingly $65,000 <laughs> to buy brand new. Yeah. Back in 93 was a fair bit of money. <laughs> yeah, it's still a bit of money. After we bought that and seen how quickly they dropped, I said to the old man, we could never buy another new GT because, you know, that was crazy. Mm -hmm. And this one came out, which is ugly, but we still had to have one. <laughs> um, so we didn't buy it new. We waited two years and we bought it for 36 grand, half the price of what they Oh, did. damn. It's done 20,000 Ks. So we learned. That was a lot smarter. Way yeah, to much smarter. This one here we bought, um, and just put a side mount supercharger on it. So that makes 460 out of the tyres with the original exhaust still on it even. We bought 7,000 Ks on it, I think it's done 8,000 now. Yeah, so how'd this come about? I noticed this one is left-hand drive. Yeah, it was damaged in the US uh, when they were only a few years old when they were going down still in price. Um, so I sat up all night, one night, waiting for this auction, mm -hmm. waiting for this car to come up, and we brought it, repaired it, and brought it back home. And, uh, 
Yeah, it's a, it's a good fun car to drive. Whenever they have some special events on, I'll take it for a spin and go and put it on display. You said this is a fun garage? Yeah, this is more the toy shed stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Save the best for last. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Not all Fords, but they all look fun. Yeah. What, what's the purple car here? It's a 64 Galaxy. It won Summer Nuts 8. Um, 8? Yeah. And the first one we went to was 30. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, 1994, so. What is the car itself? It's a 64 Galaxy. Um, it's got a 460 big block. The 671 on it. Um, it was just a nice, nice build. Well, you know, it was mind blowing when it came out. I still remember it when, when it won. And I almost thought, geez, that'd be a cool car to have. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. So the GTS, GTS drag car. Yeah. It was What's known the story as, behind this? It was known as Zap's Rat. John Zapier was the driver and owner of the car. Um, as far as door slammers go, this was the first car in Australia to go eight, seven, then six seconds down the quarter mile. Really? Yeah. Was, That's got a lot of history. Yeah, it was raced. Um, the last time it was raced was in 2002. It um, did like 219 mile now. Oh, the old lead sled. Yeah. I love these cars. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Like, I always wanted to build one and, uh, well, I wanted to buy one and, you know, they're a real personal sort of thing, you know, like everyone you see, you go, oh, I wouldn't have done that. I would have uh -huh. made the roof lower or higher or the car wider or did something else because they're so over the top, you know, whenever you build these things. It all comes down to ratios of the body with these things. I think some people get it really wrong and they just look twisted out of shape. But I think, we, you know, the guy that did this got it pretty right. Then we tubbed it, airbagged it, put a blown 410 in it. <laughs> and, uh, nice. Australian style. Yeah, so... Uh, it's not the most legal car that we have. <laughs> we won't tell anybody. But it's one of the fun ones for sure. Oh yeah. Do you have a do you have a favorite car in the collection? Um, the Mercury's probably close to it, but the XY GT in the corner, I've had that since I was 16. That's like my right arm sort of thing, you know? I'd never sell it on it. It looks so good right now. Yeah, it it's just brings back a lot, of, a lot of memories, you know, of um, doing fun stuff in cars. So I can't help but notice the late model Mustang you got out here. <laughs> and the, the cocky plate you got on the back, too. Yeah. RIP GTS. <laughs> when I first drive it home, my wife said, uh, you're driving girls' cars now. Because <laughs> it was dead standard. And I yeah. said, wait till we finish, then tell me about it. You know, now, with a E85 tune and twin turbo, it, um, we, we were making 930 at the tyres. Perfect. I went 10-1. It's not too bad for an old guy with a manual. 10-1 <laughs> manual. Not bad. Not bad at all. 144 mile an hour. Oh yeah. Those, those new motors. Just slap a pair of turbos on there and yeah, no big deal. It's not. Put up with so much. Yeah. <laughs> really good fun. first right-hand drive Mustang experience. <laughs> Driving the pony through the pasture. again for the tour. No I appreciate worries. it, Paul. Yep, I hope you enjoyed it. What a collection. <laughs> Lots of unique stuff. I, I love it. You keep collecting, mix them out. I'm out here. I'll check out the new stuff you got. Yeah, no worries. All right, cheers. Okay. See ya. We're out here at the sprints here in Albany after the roll racing. Didn't know I was going to see Paul here in his Falcon. 
Got a GoPro in there, see what she does. are in Perth and have a chance, check out their website. I'll put it down in the description. Book your trip here and come check out the collection for yourself. Might have some new stuff here. Who knows? We'll see you guys next time.